Hello, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. Listen, uh, where is the Ark of the Covenant? Good question, right? Everybody's seen the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I'm pretty sure, with, you know, Harrison Ford and, eh, you know, that's Hollywood. But, uh, and then there's a guy named Ron Wyatt that says he found it. I don't know. But, uh, I totally believe that the uh, those in the Middle East who want to rebuild the temple for their Messiah, uh, I believe that they're going to make a replica of the Ark and proclaim that it's the original. But that's just my opinion. Now, it was called the Ark, well, it's commonly known as the Ark of the Covenant. Now, what is a covenant? Oh, there's two types of covenants. There is a conditional covenant, and then there's unconditional covenants. A covenant is sort of like a contract. You know, if you're uh, if you go to do a job for somebody and say, you know, hey, uh, it's fall, all the leaves fell down from the trees in the yard. You rake up all my leaves, bag them up, and haul them off. I will pay you X amount of money. That is a conditional covenant. You do this, and I'll do that. But then there's an unconditional covenant where God says that he's going to make Israel like the sand of the sea and the stars in the sky. And people, I don't know about you, but if you've ever been in a place out in the middle of nowhere where there's no lights and you look up in the sky, there's like literally millions of stars. You know, so... People in the big city, you can't see it. But you go out in the middle of the desert, um, you know, check it out. So that is a covenant. When God makes a promise, and of course God keeps his promises, but some of the promises were conditional and some were unconditional. Now, a testament is similar to a covenant, but it only goes into effect when the testator, the person that makes the testament, has died. You ever heard of a last will and testament? Well, that's what we're talking about here. So why am I bringing this up? Because Christ died. Now, where is the Ark of the Covenant? Well, in Revelation chapter 11 and verse 19, we read, And the temple of God was opened in heaven. See, the temple of God's not going to be on the earth until the Lord himself puts it here. You know, if so if a group of people in the Middle East build another temple, well, that's not this temple. And the temple of God was opened in heaven. And there was seen in his temple the Ark of his Testament. Now, I believe the Ark of the Testament and the Ark of the Covenant, same thing. The only thing is, when Christ died, it turned from being the Ark of the Covenant to the Ark of the Testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. So... In Jeremiah 31, 31, we read, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant, not a renewed covenant, like the so-called messed up antics tell us. No. He's going to make that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not the same. Hebrews 8.8 8. And finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Verse 13 In that he saith, A new covenant he hath made the first old. Now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish away. So, 
Let's go to uh, verse Hebrews chapter 12. I guess we'll do verse 22. Hebrews 12, 22. But ye are coming to Mount Sion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. See, when Christ died, it became a testament. And to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better than that than that of Abel. Seek that ye refuse not him that speaketh. For if we escape not who refused him that spake on earth, how much more, uh, I'm sorry, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. So where is the Ark of the Testament, the Ark of the Covenant? It's in heaven, people. Just like the Bible says it is. All right, well, I hope you learned something. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Chaplain Bob signing off.